everyone, I'm Penny. I will be talking on behalf of our Bishop Peter Patricios, the founder of the Healing Center through Jesus Christ. It's such a blessing to be here. Peace and love to you all. These videos we have created, I will be translating Bishop Peter's answers to the questions that you all have sent to him. So let us begin with today's topic. What is the reason that all these changes are happening globally right now? Bishop Peter's answer is, It's not a simple matter. This issue is very big and touches on many aspects of our society. The main reason why differentiation or changes begin in people's lives is because of a large closure, a great, dynamic, spiritually supreme closure that is related with time. It simply has to do with time. Time, however, isn't just a simple condition. It's got to do with the opening up of our minds. It's already started to happen. Or you could say with the progress of the dimension of man, because man evolves. The synapses in our brain are activated and continuously expanding and evolving. So logically, they should be opening up towards the good. Though these changes are also included within the class of negativity, and that negativity is actually classified as diabolical. Just as there's good that is activated in man, so too is the negative diabolical side. So know that both sides are activated. This dynamic diabolical side is found not only outside of man as an entity, but also within. I have seen demons in church during exorcisms and deliverances, as well as other places where others supposedly cleanse, which I would rather not talk about at this moment. Going back to the synapses. The synapses expand. Man begins to evolve. Along with this evolution, though, we haven't taken into account something extremely important, and that is the sun. The sun makes a journey of 12 solar months, whereby each solar month lasts for 2,150 years, which means the sun moves through vast universe. Or in other words, movement in certain gravitational fields. A person is also a gravitational field of its own. I would call a person a bioplasma or a function of energy. For what is the soul if it's not energy? What is God if he is not a multicolored energy that covers everything? Is man monochromatic? Or in other words, is man made up of one color? I'm opposing this as a question. Or is man multicolored? Or perhaps we should take a look at our saints. When they become, let's say, multicolored, or we could say that they are multivibrational or even multi-energy. But if we talk in terms of frequency, then we would say they are multi-frequencies. Therefore, it's revealed to them these beautiful powers of heaven. And now we are in an evolution. Though we tend to make fun of astrology, not sure if I must talk about this topic, nevertheless, we have to think about the fact that we are entering a period that is, one may say, of tribulation, which brings upon major changes and shifts. I will ask myself this question. How did my spiritual elder foretell 30 years ago of the events that are happening today? Why do these spiritual beings like my spiritual elder Father John as well as saints such as St. Paisios and St. Prophetios, basically all the saints, though I don't know them personally, they knew and spoke of this evolution and of all these events that are taking place in our lives today. Of course, most of those who created these events have already wrote about them before they actually happened. These events had already been written by other people many years before. So in conclusion, this shows that something we can't see, some sort of force is helping the mind, the developed mind, so as to be activated through time and space. We thank Bishop Peter Patricius for sharing this information with us. 
Well, we here at the Healing Center through Jesus Christ hope you all enjoyed this video. And until next time, many blessings, peace, light, and wisdom to you all.